beautiful spot. Where are we, Jazz? We are at an island called Dragonera. I don't think there's any dragons here, though. You're standing out the Your eyes are eating me. I didn't want to go that far. Making our way towards the Corinth Canal. Our last week with Mum and Dad and Cam and Annie. Awesome. It's been pretty amazing so far. They have been awesome guests. It's so helpful. And Dad, you went for a hundred meter swim today. Yeah, I did. All the way in, which yeah. is pretty cool. And we just yeah, also I puffed though. You puffed, but that <laughs> that's okay. We yeah. all puff. And uh, Annie just found a, a moray eel. Moray eel, which was a bit scary. That no, was cool. It was good. Yeah. I was a little bit scared <laughs> when Annie started I was, screaming. I, was <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was coming for me. <laughs> Just a coincidence that it coincides with my pigment. My pigment. My pigment. When the day is done. to the Corinth Canal. It's going to be a couple of days getting there. We noticed on the weather report there's a big storm coming in, so I think we've got at least 50 miles to put in today, maybe 70. We'll see how we go. And this place is beautiful. I'm a shout. Grab a fistful of my hair and begin to pull it out. The drop in my scalp hurts, but what I find out with is how people look at me when I walk in a room, gawking like owls. I ball on my life. This island belongs to the Emir of Qatar. <laughs> And Bella has stepped on the king's property. On the king's property. We are approaching the longest suspension style bridge in the world. We have permission to transit underneath it. Cam, checking the sails. Looking good, Cam. Brian and Barb, essential crew members. Annie and Bella. Hey Joshy, what are we up to? We are heading to Galaxedia or something like that. Yeah, hoping um, to see the ruins of Delphi. Like the gardens of the galaxy. So, yeah. <laughs> and hoping... Very near to Delphi, which is ruins, eh? No, no, yeah. No. Galaxedia today. Yesterday with the big winds we thought we'd go sailing and I ended up ripping two sails, both of my sails, um, which was a bit stupid. But the good news is, is we've booked in a sailmaker and we get to go to Delphi today, which is an ancient ruins where people went to seek the gods. On the road up to Delphi, there are literally millions of olive trees in this grove down below me. Pretty stunning views up this road. Just 
first wanted to discover the center of the earth. So he sent out two eagles in different directions and where they met, he threw a stone to earth and it landed here at Delphi. And this is the famed stone. Here in the background is the Temple of Apollo, one of the main sites here at Delphi. In fact, the Oracle of Delphi would reside within this temple. For thousands of years, people have come up here in search of, of the gods, many gods in fact. The Temple of Apollo was the sun god, and so they would come and they'd offer sacrifice and they'd thank the god of Apollo for the sun and that kind of thing. And then along came the Israelites with one god. I mean, isn't it an incredible thing to think that, that they could come and they could pray to one god, but still they would offer sacrifices and still this god operated within a box and then we have Jesus coming and the temple is ripped in two and then suddenly for Christians God is now everywhere you don't need to walk up a mountain to discover him he's in your heart he's in the land he's in the, the sky he's everywhere and so Christianity brought something that was revolutionary it was a, a type of consciousness that had never been thought of and so when you open the pages of Bible, you might think you're reading something old and dated, but it's something extraordinary.